Uh, yeah, the first 40 was, was uh, excellent, um, did everything that we wanted to do, we, uh, you know, we had great intent, we had, uh, you know, despite the, the greasy ball early in the game, uh, we, we still had that intent and uh, yeah, very, very uh, pleasing and you know, it was good to, to sort of turn the corner performance wise um, and then look, there's still parts of the game that we, we want to improve on and we're going to need to improve on uh, this weekend because Biggest challenge to date, um, and you know one that we're looking forward to. What do you call the turn in the corner down? Uh, th- honestly, there's there was nothing. There was nothing majorly broken in the first couple. There's just some uh, uncharacteristic errors by individuals, or some uh, breakdowns in um, like just a couple of things, and uh, you know that just adds up. And you know, if, if everyone makes one or two mistakes, and suddenly you've got thirty errors, well then you know you're in a bit of trouble. So, um, but when we speak about the margins, and we just realise, if you take me for example, you're trying to kick the ball ten metres from a restart. If you kick it nine and a half, there's a error. But you're not too far off hitting a good one. If you kick it half a yard into touch, you know, you're or kick a restart full on the full half a yard when well, you're only half a yard away from getting it right. So we knew we weren't too far away from clicking and that proved to be the case. Do you feel you've got momentum behind you now? Jimmy? I don't know about that. They're obviously four on the bounce. They've got a lot of momentum as well. Um, you know, they're, they're playing at home. But, uh, yeah, look, it's nice to have sort of the worst thing would be coming into this week having had another bad performance and uh, it's good to get one under the belt. But we know that, again, we're going to have to go up another level. And I think there is another, there's another bit in us. In terms of the moves, Johnny, after the France game, has it been perceivably different? You know, has it been a lift within the squad because of that performance you're talking about? If you saw us train before Scotland and Italy, um, we trained the house down, and then we had our bad day on you know the Saturday, um, and we trying to figure out why it happened. Uh, maybe we got to the bottom of it, and we we figured out something for the French game, but. Uh, Look, there's been a bounce of energy in the squad since since day one, since we met up in Portugal. It's been, uh, it's always a great place to be. This Irish camp, we, we were led by uh, brilliant coaches and, and captain, and um, there's always a great uh, camaraderie around the place, and uh, that's been no different. Um, you know, so despite the frustrations on the Saturday and sometimes that boiling over, it's 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 always been a happy camp. Look, he's a, I think he's he's a, been a brilliant captain for us over the last few years. I think. Um, Always team first. Always um, very selfless, and uh, you know leads on the pitch with his actions. Leads leads off the pitch. Uh, pitch. <laughs> that was uh, on the. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's uh, he's a great great character to have around. Um, I think one of the best things is sometimes you know when the line outs not not going well or something, he'll always still if the right decision is to go to the corner, he'll always just say just put in the corner and we'll, we'll he'll take responsibility. He doesn't he knows that the line out if if the lift isn't quite right and you know it goes down that you know immediately you guys probably blame him, but he knows you know it's not his fault and he'll just keep going and um, that's a sign of a brilliant captain. He does you know what's right for the team all the time and uh, yeah we'll miss him we'll miss him when he's when he's gone but we've got a lot of time with him left so we'll make the most of it